Welcome to Five City Gym Talk. You are here with Eric Wallin, and today I'm going to try to answer that question. What is the big difference between Hayabusa LX, Hayabusa T3, Hayabusa Compeki? So I've already done a video on this, but the makes, models, and colors are changing a little bit. So if you want to rehash what I've already talked about on the other video, it's essentially this. These gloves, LX T3, Compeki LX, are very much the same glove. They're very similar. Now, if I remember right, and I haven't put these gloves on yet, from my old video, the T3 and the LX felt a little bit different. So let me see. These are modern gloves. This, or this order just came in the other day. I put it in and absolutely very comfy, very cozy, molds to my hand. I've got the double wrist support right there and right there. And it's an awesome glove. Like you can't go wrong with this glove. And I'll give, it, I'll give them a score, a rating later as I kind of give all the gloves I, I review a score and a rating. I'm going to jump right to the LX. And it's the same thing I remember in my old video. They use a slightly different fabric in the LX. I don't know what the difference is. As I look at it, I don't really know. As I put it on, it absolutely feels different inside than on the outside. But the double strap is the same. The Velcro is the same. The stitching, the stitch patterns are the same. Um, everything feels the same. It's just the touch of the fabric feels a little bit different. Now, let's put the Compeki on. There's a lot of things I'm not, a lot of things I'm not going to talk about today, like durability and like, these are awesome gloves. They last forever. So like, I'm just going to put it out there. I'm just nitty gritty on the little differences. Uh, I've sold enough of these gloves that I know what they're made of. I know the quality they, they have. The safety features are awesome. Okay. That Compeki feels more like the T3. So the Compeki and the T3, when my hand is in the glove, they feel more similar than... I don't know what it is. It's just slightly, just barely different. Not enough, in my opinion, to care. I'm not, I wouldn't put them on and be like, oh, this one feels different in a good way. This one feels different in a bad way. They're just slightly different. This is a different type of LX. And it feels the same. Yeah. Bizarre, kind of, to be honest. These two gloves feel the exact same on the inside. These two gloves feel the exact same on the inside. So, one thing that I would lean towards on the three different gloves is the T3. If I were to buy one today, I think I would go with this glove. The reason is, is the price point and the sweat absorbing fabric on the thumb. Now, it's good and bad. It's bad in the fact that it's not leather. Leather costs more. So basically you're compromising because you're getting some plastic there and you're getting some fabric there. So it's not leather. So you're not getting as much expensive product on the actual glove. But I would rather have a little less leather, save some money and be able to wipe some sweat off. If they're all going to last the same, if they're all the same quality as far as like durability and longevity, I'd rather save some money and also be able to wipe some sweat off my brow with that. Um, the other thing is in this model, the T3, they have the most options. I don't remember off the top of my head. I'll put in the comments or I'll just put it right here. How many different options they have for this glove, but it's the most, they got a ton of different colors and they mix and match colors. You can go 
black and red or red and black. Uh, it's They've got tons of options on this. Now, when it comes to the LX, they typically will go just a few different colors. I know they do like a, an all black, an all brown. I'm not going to say any more because I'm not sure. I think maybe an all white. But you'll notice this one is the same leather throughout the entire glove. Currently, this is the only make they make that has a different type of leather on the inside and on the strap. So they just kind of accent it with a gold and right there as well. So the fact is, this is the only one. Now, they make one just like this, but it's all black. So they don't do the gold in here. They don't do the gold here. It's just... And this isn't even, this is like a dark charcoal gray, right? So they make another one like this that's just all black charcoal or charcoal, whatever color you're talking about, with also kind of dark stitching as well. So there's a few options on the LX. There's a few options on the Compeki, but the T3 has the most options. So once again, that's another reason why I might lean towards the T3 is the most options. A little bit cheaper, a little bit uh, more, the, the price is better. So, what's the difference? Honestly, there's not a lot. Most people see this LX glove, and right out of the gate, they're like, dude, I love that glove. I called the showstopper when I was doing some expos. People would stop out of nowhere. Even girls who have nothing to do with fighting. They'd be like, that glove is so pretty. So, this is a showstopper glove. It looks good. It feels good. Uh, they last a long time. I will say with time, as you continue to punch people in the face, you get sweat, Vaseline, blood on this glove. It does take on a different look, completely different. But it's still a great glove. So let's give them a score. I'm going to score this glove at an 8. Once again, it's not the best glove, it's the price. It's the price is the reason I gave it an eight. It's a great glove at a reasonable, a reasonable price at $160. Let's go to the Compeki next. The Compeki is $190. So it's not $200. There's a lot of really good gloves at $190. So it has to stand up against gloves like Reyes and stuff like that. So I'm going to bring this glove in at a seven. It's still a great glove. The reason I dock at points isn't because it's less of a glove. It's because it's the same glove. It just costs more money. <sighs> These gloves, I'm going to bring them in at a 7 as well. Because you're essentially getting the exact same thing. But the leather's kind of cool. All the chicks dig it. So I'll keep that glove as a 7 as well. So if you're wondering the difference between the Hayabusa... T3, LX, and Compeki. There's not, but there are subtle differences. If you want to save some money, go with the T3. If you think these are awesome, just go. You can't really go wrong. It's just what are you willing to spend your money on. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you soon.